Hi, my name is Luca Alessandri. I'm a designer and a researcher. My background encompasses furniture, interior design, and engineering. But what I enjoy the most is research and development, especially when applied to materials with a sustainability perspective. I had the chance to work as contract project manager for Stilema Company, the family furniture company where I grew up in. Thanks to them, I worked in various countries such as China and the Middle East. In 2014, I moved to London, attending the double master between Royal College of Art and Imperial College called Innovation Design Engineering, learning innovation disrupting strategies and how to design experimental paths for new products and services. After this master, I had the chance to develop new projects in London. I work in collaboration with the King's College London for the Perinatal Imaging Health Department at the St. Thomas's Hospital and the Centre for the Developing Brain. I was asked to develop a musical toy to help children to get used to the sound of magnetic resonance imaging scanner in a fun, creative and interactive way. Another interesting project was the one commissioned by the Science Gallery London. It was called Mouth Controller, aiming to redesign the use of the mouth. We developed two interactive installations. The first was about controlling a video game through the mouth, competing with players using hand controllers. The second were lollipops, to which was possible to hear music thanks to the bone sound conductivity. In 2018, I decided to steadily come back to Italy, fostering a project started in 2016 involving one of the most world-renowned artisanal and artistic traditions, Lutheran. Collaborating with some of the most important associations from Cremona, one of the oldest Italian silk weaver company and the zoology department of Oxford University, I developed a sustainable composite material based on silk and spider silk to be applied in the musical instrument construction. The project received several awards. <laughs> has been also exhibited in several venues around the world and is currently part of a world itinerant exhibition called a Tree Heart, sponsored by the Ministero del Gesto Italiano. We are currently developing uh, the material showing extraordinary properties to be applied as a new natural composite in various applications, such as in the automotive sector and perhaps in the nautical industry too. Still in 2018, I exhibited another project at La Triennale di Milano, collaborating with a pluri-awarded architect studio based in Amsterdam, Gigi Loop, where I developed modular acoustic pavilions called Oxygen 18, with a purpose to create temporary indoor acoustically insulated spaces, raising the awareness of natural materials potentialities in architecture. The project was awarded as Most Innovative Urban Planner 2018 Netherlands and Best Dutch Installation by Build Magazine. My passion for the research and development in sustainable materials didn't stop. In 2019, I exhibited together with the design collective Pensiero Materia at the Salone Satellite a series of projects involving materials made by organic waste. A orange peel waste chandelier I designed for the UK-based startup Biome, a tomato peel waste bioplastic made table set, fostering the concept of food waste coming back as design object on the table. This last one has been selected among the about 400 participants of the Salone Satellite to be exhibited and sold at La Rinascente Milano. In the same exhibition, we shown as a premiere uh, the mycelium made acoustic panels that I designed for Mogo, called Kite. During the same design week 2019, the upholstery brand Adrenalina exhibited the sofa collection I designed for them called Big Sip. Big Sip is a palindrome word and it refers to the fact that the geometry of this sofa can change accordingly to the perspective from which uh, they are observed. One of the last projects that I develop is Netta. Netta is using broken fishing net scraps, recycling them, to make new products and installations with the aim of creating relaxing spaces, spreading the awareness about the life cycle of plastics. The project has been selected as a finalist at the Precious Plastic Award by Rossano Orlandi and exhibited at the Museo della Scienza e della Tecnologia Leonardo da Vinci during the last Milan Design Week. To develop it, we involved some of the few fishing net repairers left in our province, collaborating with the local fishermen cooperative. They shared with us their story and their concerns about the end of life of all the disposed material scraps, alighting that the problem of plastic in the sea keeps being an issue also in the land. We are currently developing new products, installations, recycling broken fishing net scraps. Last year, 
had been awarded with a PhD research bursary in design at the Politecnico di Milano. There, as part of the Material Experience Research Group, I am currently investigating the relation between digitalization and new forms of upcycling in waste exchange networks. As you might have the chance to see from my background, in my opinion, design can only walk together in a close path with innovation, looking at new possible features. When they separate, they lose meaning, and so their power that is, in the end, to generate hope.